For many filmmakers, stabilized shots are the only way to tell a story. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that, because this kind of shots are extremely cinematic. But just think how incomplete the history of cinema would be without the iconic Normandy landing scene from Saving Private Ryan and the long take from Children of Men. Making this kind of shots is much more difficult than you may think. Remember that not always handheld means a camera on the shoulder, sometimes you have to do a lot of physical movement to find the right angle, especially when it comes to dynamic tracking shots and keep in mind that such positions are extremely exhausting for the whole body. Of course, there are many simple ways and also many support systems, but today I would like to show you something very interesting and unique. A few weeks ago I got the idea from one of my subscribers who asked me if I could build something like this. I thought it would be a really great idea to combine a Steadicam with a mechanical gimbal. I got to work right away and I'm planning an episode about how to build something very similar myself, but first I want to show you the original version. And this is where things get complicated. There are two almost identical products on the market, Lion Falcon and ZG from Cinema Devices. In fact, the only difference seems to be the price, so a few months ago I sent a request to both companies about the chance to test the equipment. However, I was only able to get one, which is a Falcon and from Cinema Devices I got no answer at all. What's more, about 3 months ago I also asked these two companies for information about the production itself, because I wanted to find out which of these companies was the original designer of this equipment. And I also wanted to check if there was any possible patent violation here. And here again I didn't get any answer to the questions, so I thought it could mean that Cinema Device are actually selling the same product but for twice the price. A lot of companies do that kind of thing and I really hate it. Now everything's changed a few days ago when I released the first version of this video and in one of the comments I got new information from Pedro that this equipment was originally designed by Charles Puppert and that cinema device has the old production's rights and Falcon is just a copy. I cannot confirm this for sure because as I mentioned it, both cinema devices and Lang are not answering my questions and I am very confused about it. Maybe they should hire someone who can answer the emails. Anyway, whatever it is, I will not recommend any of these companies, but just want to give you some idea of the performance, which is identical in both cases. And which product is better, I leave to your opinion. But before we start, comes the question, do we actually need it? Falcon or ZG is not a small device, it is not lightweight and it is not one of the cheapest solutions. So in my opinion, it is not a must-have piece of equipment and I guess most of us probably don't need it. But if you already have your own Steadicam setup and maybe you are also thinking about some kind of support system for a handheld camera style, then this may be a good option. I think everybody understands the huge benefits that this equipment brings, range of motion, incredible flexibility, footstep stabilization and weight distribution. Anyone who has ever had a camera bigger and heavier than 5 kilograms knows exactly what I'm talking about and knows how difficult it is to get a perfect shot in this position. What's more, I think everyone will also agree with me that physical conditions are very important here. Having the right back, shoulder and arm muscles in relation to the weight of the camera makes it much easier and safer. That's why heavy camera sets are usually operated by strongly built and fit guys. But in this episode I wanted to break that rule. A great example of this will be my wife and if any of you think that for such a delicate woman the equipment which weighs almost 20 kilograms might be too heavy, you have to realize that for the past 3 years, every time when I was holding a camera in my hands, she was holding our children, which are not really that much lighter. Of course, it doesn't mean that she can operate such a heavy set without any limitations, but she has enough strong back muscles that a Steadicam vest and Falcon is all she needs to work with really big sets. But before I show you the real world test, let's jump right into our Falcon details. My first impression is for sure great build quality, everything fits together perfectly, you have a full range of adjustment in each axis and precise markers so you can balance the camera very easily and quickly. You can put here a camera that is 25cm wide and as for the other size you have no obvious limits. So the only one you can't put here is probably an IMAX camera. 
Falcon comes with a very clever and perfectly designed tripod stand. You have a base on it for setup and balance, but also special holders, so you can put it on and take it off in a way uh, similar to professional Steadicams. Camera setup is very easy. In the set you have a genius and big cheese base plate, which you can mount directly to the camera, or you can mount another universal base plate on it. Camera balance is basically the same as in the case of gimbals, you need to find the center of gravity of each axis. So even with an extremely heavy camera operating becomes a piece of cake, and you have a really great feeling of the wall equipment. Especially interesting here is the roll axis swing, thanks to which any movement of your hips is basically eliminated and also you have many creative applications, which is much easier here than in the case of the other support system, because you don't have to put absolutely no energy into such a movement. Also, you have a special pin that allows you to lock the movement in this axis. This can be helpful when you want to balance the camera as well as while shooting, for example, when you want to take a few static shots. Also, in the pen axis, you have a knob that allows you to lock that angle and in the tilt axis, you have a red ring that you can use to adjust the resistance to your movements. I have noticed that it works a little differently on ZG and that's probably one of the few differences. The hand grips are long, very comfortable and you can also mount on them a wireless follow focus or monitor and a bunch of different accessories. Honestly, I think it is compatible with any vest that has a spring arm bolt and it doesn't even have to be a standard size because it comes with adapters that allow you to mount a Falcon to different size. And when it comes to limitations, it seems to me that they are only related to the payload. The Falcon itself is quite heavy and weighs 5 kilograms, which combined with my Ronin 4D and picture zoom makes a total crazy 12 kilograms. So definitely for this you need a heavy duty vest and spring arm. However, I find a way to modify my favorite Tilta float, which payload is now 15 kilos, but I needed to test it a few more times and see if it is definitely a safe option. So for now, a wise choice would be Digital Photo Thanos X Pro, which has a great price to quality ratio and you have the possibility of adjusting it to any kind of body size. There are of course many ways to use this kind of equipment, which I don't talk about in detail, but handheld style is basically the main feature of this device, so I wanted to test it in action and I guess the perfect scenario for such a demonstration would be a dance video where many of the shots are long takes. For these shots we decided to use the Ronin 4D in two options. The first is a few shots without stabilization, that is pure handheld style with a picture zoom lens mounted using a couple of 50mm rod and assisted by a focus puller. The second configuration is a Ronin with full 4-axis stabilization in FPV mode with Leica R series lenses with LiDAR autofocus system. All the shots you will see were made entirely by Pauline, the only exception is the opening shot in which we decided to use Segway style vehicle and it just would not be safe for her with all this equipment. Please remember that the ratio of the camera weight to Paulina body weight is quite extreme, but my wife is a professional filmmaker with a very good physical training and she knows very well what moves she can make to do it without any risk. Anyway, see how she made it and I hope you like the final footage.
When Pauline decided to shot this clip all alone with such a heavy set, I was quite skeptical, because almost 20 kilos of equipment is really a lot even for a professional cameraman. I thought that yes, we can try it, but we will probably make a few longer breaks so that she can rest and recover. But to my surprise, Polly wanted to shot all the time and except for the time of changing the lens, she had all the equipment on her body for two and a half hours and she didn't complain even once. Thanks to this, I was able to focus on Junior and some other technical aspects on the set. And at this point, I would like to also share with you some great power solution that I discovered during this project. The place where we were shooting was basically an old empty factory hall with no electricity and of course this generated a few technical problems. In fact, the sun was actually the key light, but we also wanted to use some fill light, some background light and some haze to give everything some kind of vibe. So when it comes to powering all this equipment, my first idea was batteries for each of the lights, but on the other hand you can power a smoke machine this way. Another option was a small power generator, but the downside is the noise and smell. So the last and in my opinion the best option I found was the EcoFlow power station which is basically an extremely high capacity huge battery by which you can power a bunch of different things. The model I used is a Delta Max and I am extremely surprised how powerful this device is. I used two Aperture 120D Mark II, Godox VL300, all between 80 and 100% power, camera battery chargers, my computer and a smoke machine that needs a lot of power. And all of this work without a single break for about 3 hours and used only 40% of the battery. So just think how many cool things you could do with a battery like that in a place without power. It is definitely worth a look and I'll be sure to tell you a bit more about it in future episodes, but for now let's jump back to Falcon. Guys, as you can see, this is a piece of equipment that has quite a wide range of applications. It has a great range of motion and the extremely easy control of the camera is something that I am sure all professionals will really appreciate. However, you have to pay for this pleasure. The price of Falcon or Zigi is almost double, but no matter which one you choose, in my opinion, both are very overpriced. I mean, come on, it is not a masterpiece of engineering and it is basically just a gimbal without motors. So if you had to pay three or six thousand dollars for it, then in my opinion, a much better and versatile choice would be the Ronin 2 Pro. Just turn off the motors and play with it manually and you will basically get exactly the same results. The next big downside for me is the weight. I am not sure if it is possible to build something like that with larger components, but in my opinion 5 kilograms of extra weight can be a quite a bit. So, having all these aspects in mind, I think that this equipment is great but mainly for professionals and for those who already have a Steadicam and also want to have the option of using a handheld camera support. On the other hand, if you are a one-man band and if you don't really want to carry a lot of those extra kilograms, spend a bunch of dollars and don't have room for extra gear, you can certainly find much easier and cheaper solutions. In a previous episode, I'll show you some options for supporting the camera itself. And one of the most available and cheapest is still Tilta Float. I also mentioned that I needed to improve a few things here because the adapter I put on the arm works only in one direction. And guess what? As usual, Tilta made it faster. In fact, I just got this adapter, so I had no time to tell you more about it. But in general, it is an adapter that works in all directions, so it helps to eliminate most of the movements generated when you walk. It's not as easy to control the camera as with the Falcon, because the bottom mount means you can't make a perfect balance of the center of gravity, so you have to hold the camera a bit tighter and more securely. But if you really want this kind of support, and if you don't have the extra cash for it, I think it is a good alternative. Guys, hope this was helpful for you. As always, thanks for so many nice comments and messages and see you in the next video.